Oh, good morning on this rather brisk, cold Monday morning. It's probably not gonna be Monday by the time you see this. Well, it might be, if you don't watch it when it's live. Well, live, when it goes live. Uh, at the Dropbox, as usual, Dropbox, um, only had one to drop in there, not because the sales have been rubbish, but because I done them all yesterday, and I forgot I had a vintage sale, so um, I came back down and dropped that off. Uh, pretty good weekend. About £700 after fees and stuff in sales, so not too bad. Uh, where are we off to today? Romsey, I think. Uh, my, my phone's being annoying. No, I want the map. Oh, give me the map. Uh, yeah, I think we're off to Romsey. Um, I guess we'll find out when we get there. But yeah, pretty sure Romsey, again, town that I've never been to. I think there's only about six charity shops. Uh, so it could be an interesting one. But as we've found out in the past, having loads of charity shops doesn't necessarily mean you get loads of stuff. Uh, so I need to get some fuel because my poor car is saying I've only got 35 miles in the tank. Uh, look how frozen the car is, look. And I, I've been in the car for like half an hour nearly and oh, it's horrible. I've come out in just a hoodie to put my arctic coat, I'm gonna freeze, I've got my gloves on because I'm cold. Oh, right, we'll chat when we get there. See you soon. Just love it when there's tons and tons and tons of empty spaces. Loads of empty spaces, yeah. And someone comes and parks right next to you. Right, I've got you on a new side today. I've got you on the right, usually on the left because I'm a left-handed person. Um, but I put you on the right today. Don't know if it's going to make a blind bit of difference. Right, we need to find out where the charity shops are because I have no idea. Right, possibly that way. <laughs> about their cameras.
Cheers, thanks, see ya. Dear Sia. Cheers. Keep it cool. Right, that wasn't too bad. Should start off with this here. So this all this jacket. I nearly didn't pick it up because it was 20 quid. But um 
I had a look, someone's got one identical, they've got it listed up for like 140, I don't think it'll reach that, but I think probably 70 quid, I reckon. All right, nice simple pickup, a pair of sketches there, in okay condition, there's no splitting or anything. Minimum wear, what did I pay for them? I can't remember, six pound. Not a bad women's size, size five, probably about 20 quid. Let's uh, total this up while we're doing so that I don't forget. So 70 plus 20. Uh, this is a little bit interesting. So I just sold a pair of Sealand trousers, like hunting trousers. And this sort of like a uh, I think like a, um, a filled fleece type of thing. <laughs> uh, it says it's waterproof, which is interesting. Um, I, I believe C-Tex is basically like their version of Gore-Tex. Um, nicely priced actually, £4.50 and I reckon probably 30 Uh, what have we got here? Um, I wouldn't normally pick up um, Marks and Spencer stuff, but it's pure linen and it's still got its tags on it. It was three pound fifty, but they wanted thirty pound for it. So I reckon there's. I always thought Blue Harbour was Tesco's. I don't know why, but anyway, <laughs> I reckon um, I could probably get close to thirty quid for them. Say twenty five, just to be conservative only because they're new with tags um, otherwise, I wouldn't, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered picking them up uh, next um, not sure whether I'm gonna sell these or keep these because they should technically fit me but they're a low rise and I'm not a massive fan of low rise jeans um, again £3.50 uh, Armani Collins it basically collection so it's like their lower brand I believe if memory serves me right um, if I was to sell them probably about £20 but yeah I'll probably try them on first and um, so because uh, I'm likely not to keep them I'll add it to the value 20 These probably the pickup of the day. Pair of True Religion. It's a little bit of a uh, stitching. It's like a weird kind of fabric. They're like half jean, half chinos. Genos. <laughs> um, but yeah, True Religion. They could possibly be old, but I'm not really too sure. I don't know how to date True Religion. But yeah, everything seems pretty good on them. Pretty nice wear. Quite a nice size at 34. Paid £4.50. I can't believe they've been there since December 2021. That's... Right, anyway, so yeah. True religion jeans. I reckon... That probably looking at about 40 so that gives us a grand total of 205. Now if we uh, take away all the spend, just give me a minute. Try and remember 205. So they were 450. Where's your price thing gone? They were 350. Three fifty plus another three fifty plus I think this is what four fifty. Yeah, four fifty. Plus 
six, by six, yeah, plus six, and then plus 20. So 42 pound to make 205. So not amazing, but not too bad. So 205 minus 42, 163 pound. Not too bad. Right, if you like these uh, videos, um, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, there's loads of towns around by me that I haven't done. Um, I could either do some more towns or I can start going around the old ones again. Uh, let me know if you want me to keep going on my new towns or if you want me to start going back to the old ones again. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you.